hailed a hero for his staunch defence of Protestant parades, David Trimble was the tough-talking unionist who dared to compromise. I therefore give you your new leader, Mr David Trimble. He led the Ulster Unionist Party to the negotiating table and played a pivotal role in the Good Friday Agreement. We rise from this table knowing that the union is stronger than it was when we sat down. Other key figures in the peace process say history will record David Trimble's great courage. I think it, it'll remember him uh, as a politician who, uh, in, in a really difficult time, when we were trying to end 30 years of violence, in spite of everything, stood up uh, and put his name to that agreement uh, and allowed us to bring peace to, uh, to Northern Ireland and allowed us to progress. Two men who've taken a leap of faith out of the past and into the future. Their stretch for peace earned the former Unionist leader and his nationalist counterpart John Hume the Nobel Prize for Peace. David Trimble went on to become the first person ever elected to the office of First Minister in Northern Ireland. But the rise of Sinn Féin before the IRA had decommissioned weapons required him to take another leap of faith. We've done our bit. And Mr Adams, it's over to you. We've jumped. You follow. David Kerr was David Trimble's press secretary and worked closely with him for a decade. I do believe history will be kind to David Trimble because I think when historians look back objectively with uh, a longer perspective over the time frame of, of things that happened before and after the Good Friday Agreement, I think they will understand the pivotal role that he played in transforming politics here. He incurred the wrath of hardliners and eventually lost his upper band seat at Westminster to the Democratic Unionist Party. But elevated to the Lords, he expressed no regret for compromising, describing the Good Friday Agreement as his greatest achievement. Lawyer, academic, statesman, David Trimble will be remembered for his ability to see what others couldn't, the potential for peace. David Blevins, Sky News, in Belfast.